Hello. Oh. What are you doing here? I got called to the principal's office. So did I. Would you do something wrong? Not that I'm aware of. Did you? I hope not. Maybe it's good news. Sheldon, you ever been called to the principal's office for good news? Never. Cool. Gentlemen, good news. I had a feeling. What's up? We got the PSAT results back, and Sheldon got a perfect score. Neat. Thanks, Tom. I'll be sure to put that up on the fridge. No, you don't understand. Sheldon's the only kid in the school to ever do this. At his age, maybe in the whole country. It was fun. I enjoyed it. So what's his mean? It means he pitched a perfect game, George. I've already gotten calls from colleges who want to meet him. For, like, scholarships and stuff? For everything. They might even pay you to get him. <laughs> My man. When was the last time you washed your hands? Come on. Can you believe it? Perfect school. <laughs> Good job, Moon Pie. And not just that. Colleges are already sniffing around to recruit him. What do you mean, colleges? He's 10. Principal Peterson said Caltech is interested. Where's Caltech? California, Mom. California? It has Cal right there in the name. You're not a part of this conversation. The tech is for technology. Shelly, go to your room. The adults need to talk. Given the events of the day, I would argue I am an adult and should be treated as one. I probably could have said that differently. You honestly think that little boy is ready for college? Hey, I don't think he was ready for high school, but here we are, a year and a half in, and no one got hurt. That is different. He's got you and Georgie over there, and he's still living at home with his mother and his sister. And me. Sure. I understand all that. Then why are you pushing so hard for this? Because these schools are interested now. It's like football recruiting. You gotta strike while the iron's hot. This is nothing like football. Oh, yeah? What if he stops being smart and they don't want him anymore? How is that gonna happen? I don't know. Conks his head. Will you help me, please? Sorry. I'm not a part of this conversation. At least Dad's on my side. Doesn't matter. Mom's gonna win. She always does. But I have to leave for college at some point. If you went to college, you know what would happen. I'd enjoy higher learning. You would die. You would curl up on the floor and die. That's not true. You can't even take care of your own boo-boos. For your information, every college is staffed with a medical professional. My boo-boos will be well tended to. Sheldon, come back in here. I guess we'll find out what happened. I already know what happened. Mom won. Well? Shelly, I am very proud of you for doing so well on that test. But you can't go off to college. Mom! In a few years, sure. But right now, you can just keep taking your one college class with Dr. Sturgis. Why can't I go there full time? Oh, baby, it's an hour away. We can't drive you back and forth every day. I'm the one who's been driving him. And she loves it. How can he be so smart and so clueless at the same time? Dr. Sturgis lives at the school. What if he acted as my guardian? That's an idea. A crazy one. But it would only be on school nights. Shelly. What's the point of being intelligent if I can't take advantage of opportunities like this? They're still discussing. Mom didn't win. It's touch and go. Crazy. 